Welcome to your daily deprogramming session. We may begin. Bob and Doug returned to the Kennedy Space Center. They suited up. They waved to their families. And they rode an elevator up nearly 20 stories. They strapped in to their seats and waited as the tanks beneath them filled with tens of thousands of gallons of fuel. And then they launched. Yeah, they did. <laughs> Millions of Americans watched that day on the hills and sand dunes of Cape Canaveral, in living rooms, dorm rooms, classrooms, and then across our nation. We watched. Yes, they did. We watched. <laughs> Millions of Americans watched that then disappear from our view. What's with you guys? Come on, man. You know, because at some point, you know, maybe there needs to be a formal deprogramming of the cult members, but something needs to happen. It's on your laptop, and it's then, therefore, up here in this cloud that exists above us, right? It's no longer in a physical place. Uh, so it is like a cult, and somebody has to break the, uh, you know, <laughs> break that momentum and that's why I'm, no matter what your age, it's important to get your body moving every single day to help keep you healthy. There are so many different activities you can do, indoors or outside. Now I'm jumping to get food. Good for you, Big Bird. Get moving. It's good for you. Such a great job. You answered every question. You knew all the facts. And let me ask the crowd, what did Trump do? Why? Yes. So, John, I'm going to hand it over. Good for you, Big Bird. We have such a great moving. group of supporters here. So, thank you all for coming. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Been here the whole time. I see it, I see that. All right, well then, let's get it done. Let's move. Let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move, let's move. Which brings me to May 30th, 2020. Bob and Doug returned to the Kennedy Space Center. They suited up, they waved to their families, and they rode an elevator up nearly 20 stories. They strapped in to their seats and waited as the tanks beneath them filled with tens of thousands of gallons of fuel. And then, they launched. Yeah, they did. <laughs>